Alright, so this uh, video I'm going to go over flashing a used transmission module into a, uh, this is a 2012 Jeep Patriot. Um, I've hooked up my battery maintainer there. Just always make sure you do that when you're programming or doing anything like that. Um, I've got my key in. I've turned it on. So now we just need to go through our system here and find the option. Uh, I'm going to be using my old uh, 908, just a regular MS 908. All right, so we're going into the transmission module. Now, I have not scanned codes. I have not done anything. They told me they replaced it. So um, I'm just going to go through the routine. And uh, we can see the part number here. And we can see the VIN is, it's hard to see, but you can see this VIN is different than the VIN for the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. If you didn't see, just take my word for it. And I uh, don't really feel like reading codes yet. Let's do special function, see what we find in there. And let's do this. I think this is all we have to do for this. Yeah, let's hit OK. Turn the ignition off. Got a little delay. Okay, so we can turn it back on. It says everything is complete. Okay, let's go ahead and erase the code. I don't want to read them. I don't want to see anything that was there because this is a replacement. Um, we had to initialize it. And some people, they see codes and, you know, it's old stored codes and it will, you know, make them think there's more problems. So rather than look, just erase it. And now we're going to read and see if there's anything still there. So there's no codes currently. Let's check ECU information. And let's see if the VIN has changed. It should. You should still see the original and now you should see the current. So that is good. That is done. Yeah, I think everything is pretty much done. Uh, the only other issues you would have would be if you bought a different part number. But this is a matching part number, so the programming is already the same. Okay, so I'm just starting it up. I put it in reverse. I'm going to put it in drive. Uh, let's see if we can put it in first. Now I'm going to just check codes again. I'm not going to test drive it, that's not really my job, but I just want to do some basic tests before I uh, call my job complete here. And still no problem. So everything is done as far as initializing and, you know, getting the replacement transmission module programmed. Um, the only other thing you would have to do is if it was a different part number then you would probably have to flash it with uh, WeTech and Stellantis uh, subscriptions. Alright, so there you go.